I've got some topics of my own about session work over the years you've done, starting with the album Melt from Peter Gabriel. You had two spots with uh, the Melt album I Don't Remember and Family Snapshot. You did additional guitar work. What was that like going in the studio with uh, back in 1980, I believe it was? A little bit scary, if I'm honest. But uh, I have to say, Peter was a joy. He was a really, really very, very kind, laid back fellow. There was no, I didn't really feel that much pressure, even though I was very, very nervous. First of all, I didn't do myself any favours by rocking up late because I had car problems. I had to drive up from Swindon to London. And uh, I won't bore you with the details, but I had to go and uh, rent a car and it, it, I lost about an hour and a half dicking around with that. So I finally got to the studio and I'm full of apologies. And they were just sort of sitting there drinking tea. I think they just had lunch and they said, oh, don't worry, don't worry. Take it easy. Take We've got plenty of time. And so uh, I was a little bit, um, a little bit nervous for that reason. And um, and Steve Lilly White basically, uh, he was the one who got me the session because we'd been uh, when we were working on drums and wires. Uh, the this, the year previously, the phone rang and it was Peter Gabriel's management asking if Steve would be interested in producing Peter's next album. And Steve, at the time, didn't know, really know anything about Peter. He'd heard of Genesis, knew that Peter had sung with Genesis. That's all he knew. So I said, Steve, please do this record. Because, you know, if you don't do another record this year, you must, must do this one. Oh, all right, well, I'll give it some thought, you know. It's, it's kind of like that. I said, by the way, you know, if you need a guitar player, you know my number. I was just joking. But God bless him. He called me up and said, we've got a song here. We've um, had a couple of guitarists in. Uh, Peter isn't entirely convinced. We thought you might like to have a go, at, take a crack at this song. And that's how it how it came about. So I went to the studio and, and it involved this, uh, well, you know, the song I don't remember. That's these sort of Ba, ba, bang, these big jangling open chords. And it meant to get the get enough power out of the guitar and tuning the, the downbeat or the half the half beat before the bar line, call it the downbeat. We needed to tune the guitar to an open chord. So I said, well, what's, what's the chord then? And so Peter sat at the piano and he pay, played the individual loops. And luckily it was a six note chord. So he played the notes on the piano, top to bottom, F sharp, E, I think it was G sharp, then D down to C sharp, A down to G sharp, and the bottom E down to C sharp. So I thought, well, if I can do it without breaking any of those top strings, this might just work. And um, it did. And you know, as, as the, the changes were reasonably uh, easy to find, luckily, as the song, you know, as, as it goes into the second half of the verse, it's a slight modulation, and um, it all it all worked. And when we came to the to the uh, to the chorus parts, it's a question of doing something a bit more rocky and metallic. I'm not sure I did that quite so well, but I think they probably you know, watching the clock and re realising they had to finish up pretty quickly. So there was there was that. We I think we overdubbed it a couple of times. And then they said, well, we've got this other song, Family Snapshot. We just want a little bit of uh, chugging guitar in the, when the song takes off. And they, uh, again, showed me the chords on the piano. And then the track started, I remember. The chords sounded wrong. I said, don't think these are the right chords, fellas. Have I got this right? And they suddenly remembered that they'd done a fresh take in a different key. So uh, it wasn't my fault after all. I just uh, adapted what they told me to the new key. So there was that, those are my principal memories. And then while I was there, the phone rang and it was, um, it was XDC's management saying, oh, Dave, you're in London. 
don't come back to Swindon tonight. We've got Top of the Pops tomorrow. So uh, we'll see you at, I can't remember, some hotel they booked for the night. Come to this hotel and we, we're going to the BBC tomorrow to do Top of the Pops. I'm thinking, yes, we've made it. Here I am doing a session for one of my musical heroes from years and years back. And tomorrow I'm doing Top of the Pops. Am I actually dreaming this? And that's uh, that was the, the story of the, from October 1979 and how my contribution to Melt came about and how X, uh, how XTC got making plans for Nigel into the charts. Amazing, two great things in one. There was also in two another days one. in two days. Might I add two? 